The idea of order and chaos plays itself out in this large-scale work by Robert Hodgins called Consulting Room. Order and chaos are best embodied in the fictitious character of Ubu Roy, invented by Alfred Jarret, the late 19th century French dramatist, a character frequently depicted by Hodgins throughout his career. Order to be found in the grand and lavish palaces of, say, a dictator, and chaos in the way in which the dictator rules his country and messes up his own life and the lives of everybody else's. A veritable madhouse, so to speak. Order is represented in various typical situations in which power games are at play, whether it is the worker in the imposing officer of the boss, or whether it is the patient in the doctor's consulting room. Power is embedded in the suit of the businessman, or the white coat of the doctor, all basically armor against a cruel world. That is the irony, but also the sadness of the businessman and the doctor, an explanation often offered many times by Hodgins when he spoke about his art. What is striking about the present lot is the manner in which space is articulated in the picture plane. A broken line at mid-level signifying a hostile and alienating place. The focus of the work, however, is on the one figure standing to the left of the room full of seated figures, possibly the doctor towering over the row of waiting patients. Perhaps another power relationship uh, plays itself out in the professional classes. The doctors, the lawyers, the accountants lording it over their clients. This doctor, however, seems to have a bleeding heart, judging from the large red area that surrounds his torso. However, one is reminded of the words of one critic saying about Hodgins' work, ignoble nobility, venal popes, untrustworthy clergymen, men in uniforms or formal suits of importance, disguised somehow by their clothing to compensate for their low morals, vicious demeanor, criminal intent, leering manners or lack of compassion became the order of the day for Hodgins. Yet not all his cynicism and condemnation. He regarded ladies of ill repute, men in loud suits, bewildered ex-boxers struggling with the after effects of being too often battered, all with a degree of understanding, humor, and fellow feeling. All of this embodied in this wonderful work, Consulting Room. <laughs>